Welcome back, everyone, to another episode. Today we are tuning in from Hat Yai, Thailand, very far south. And uh, today we are checking out the Hat Yai Municipal Park. The uh, little lake behind us, people riding their little boats. It's one of those cool spots with the creepy fish that come up. Look at all the mouths, you can see them on camera. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. Seems like a pretty cool nature experience. From what I read online, it seems like there are a lot of cool uh, little temples to check out here. Some cool views, a bit of hiking, um, a good outdoorsy day. It does seem like as well when looking into stuff to do if you visit this area of Thailand and Hat Yai. Um, this park seems to be pretty worthwhile to check out, mainly for the temples um, and little shrines and stuff like that. So. My cab dropped me off at the front gate here by the little pavilion area and everything. I'm trying to find a map and use a mixture of Google to help me out. See a map over there. Um, we're going to figure out where to go. There's two temples I uh, was pretty curious to check out. So those are going to be our priority today. Although it does look like overall um, there's a lot of cool stuff to see just you know in terms of nature. So if you're into that, you're going to have a good time today. guys everyone Whew, I'm out of breath so I did climb up the National Park in my professional recommendation don't do that there's a cable car I was dropped off in a place that I probably shouldn't have been just get yourself dropped off at the cable car I'll find a link and put it in the info box below um, and again pardon me for whew, speaking kind of quiet I uh, it's a nice peaceful place people are meditating and all that and praying don't want to be too disturbing um but yeah i walked up the hill mountain whatever you want to call it that's the view it took about 30 minutes i think it was 1.6 kilometers so my quick cab just dropped me off at the entrance to the park my mistake i thought the park was going to have more interesting stuff going on down there but not really if you're not though it was in the low 90s today and I'm a pretty experienced uh, hiker, even in hot weather. And I carried a bunch of water in my bag. So I made it up here safely. Now I'm just getting sweat in my eyes. Do a little visual tour here. I think we're gonna see some cool stuff. So we just had our little tour here. A lot of signs saying beware of the monkeys and stuff like that. I didn't see any, but I think I heard them. Like when I was walking through the woods up here, I heard like little things being thrown around. It was probably them. So this temple is called Dao Mahapram Shrine. And uh, you know, honestly, it's pretty okay. I imagine if you're a local or something like that, you probably think it's pretty cool. Totally get it. The view from up top is pretty nice. But there's not many view spots. Yonder that way is our cable car station. We're gonna take that, get down to the bottom. It does look like there's a cool Buddha statue down there. So I'm pretty excited for that. I thought this would be a little more interesting up here. It's nice. This three-headed elephant's pretty cool. Um, I would say if you're going to see that temple down below, Maybe hop up here on the cable car, check it out. Okay, so we are headed back down. It's kind of taking a slightly different route. Um, so yeah, that like shrine area, I don't want to talk too much up there, be, be a little more quiet. But uh, yeah, that shrine, that yeah, was okay. I, uh, if you're a local, you know, someone who practices Thai Buddhism and everything, I actually think it would probably be phenomenal. If you're more of a vacationer or a backpacker like me, it's nice. Um, at first I thought, if you happen to be seeing that big Buddha that we're going to see in a few minutes down below, um, might as well just hop up that cable car and come up here. Cable car was six bucks, 200 baht. Uh, for foreigners at least. Um, but, uh, so I, <laughs> there's no one in the ticket office to buy a ticket to head down. And I was like, you know, maybe I'll, uh, just kind of sneak on, 
no one really noticed. Or if someone stops me, I, I would have paid down there. But um, the line is kind of long and like you only fit so many people on the cable car. That's not fast. I mean, it would have probably been 20 minutes before I got on. And I went on Google Maps and looked up the walking directions to the temple that's downhill. And uh, that's only a 16 minute walk. Like I said, I'm a pretty experienced hiker. I've kind of adapted to the Thai heat a little bit. I am drenched in sweat, but I'm not miserable. I don't feel bad. Just sweat, you know? And uh, I need some exercise. I'm on a bit of a weight loss journey anyway. So it's kind of fun for me. But otherwise, if you're, <laughs> you have limited time or anything like that, I don't recommend doing what I'm doing. There are a few joggers I've seen on this hill and one dude on a bicycle. So I don't feel that crazy for it. I do, again, I'm happy about the exercise. But uh, yeah, most people don't do what I did. And uh, heck, maybe I'd even skip that shrine up there. Very pretty, peaceful. There's only one spot for the view. A lot of the trees were overgrown. So you couldn't really see too much uh, around it. You know, you kind of see there's a big lake in the distance. I don't even know if I picked it up on camera too well because it was kind of foggy out today or smoggy. Hopefully that temple down there is going to be pretty cool. I'll refresh myself on the name when we get there. Um, this, you know, is an example of when you travel, backpacking and everything, uh, you make mistakes, you do a little bit of research, but maybe it didn't turn out like you thought it would. Um, that's why I'm here, right? You guys can learn from my mistakes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool hilly vibe again i'm pretty stoked to be walking downhill this is no effort right here let's get a little bit sweaty i'm keeping an eye out for uh creepy crawlies uh bugs haven't been too bad i got a mosquito bite or two handful of spots where i thought there could be some snakes still probably could be I haven't seen any monkeys yet still i mean it'd be kind of cool to see one I do get a little anxiety about one of them like biting me or something and <laughs> having to go get like a rabies shot. I heard all of that is unpleasant. Okay, everyone, look at that. Lovely, lovely view of Hot Yai. Cool. Once we're done looking around up here, I'm gonna head down there. We'll see what that's all about. This is why we came up here. Whew, pardon me for being out of breath. Despite being downhill, a relatively easy walk. Ah, still get pant a little bit when it's this hot out. This is cool. This is worth coming up for. Just get a grab, punch this into Google, and uh, you'll save the money. Like I said, I would maybe skip the gondola and uh, not do that top shrine. Now I'm going to check Google here, double check the name, because it is a difficult one. It is Fra Tutta Mangkol Maharat. Probably butchered that, sorry. Do my best as a gringo. This is beautiful. This is cool. Let's see what else is up here. I imagine you could probably get a grab cab or something, probably for a, just over a hundred baht maybe. And if you do the lift, you still have to take the cab to get up here and pay the 200 baht. But if you got time to kill, go for it. Kind of a lesson as well. TripAdvisor kind of made this seem like a whole epic day excursion and the park down there was gonna be cool. Eh, seems like it's a nice thing if you have a family, take them for a little, play in the lake day or something there's like little boats you can rent but i would say most people if you're in hot yeah come and see this and you're probably good in terms of hanging out in this park area this is so cool very peaceful oh guys this is beautiful very cool peaceful up here cool view yeah definitely make it here okay so I walked down those epic steps you saw earlier 
and they got to a point where they kind of forked left and right and uh, I assume they would kind of meet back up together so I didn't get to that one little statue that I pointed at earlier but that is okay because this looks way cooler wow I think I did see pictures of these online so maybe I took the right route anyway cool I'll do a little research on what uh, the deal is with these and I'll uh, put a little info on the screen for you guys because I'm curious myself. Very cool. So yeah, the adventures you find yourself on when you go hiking. Oh yeah, that's like a dragon mouth. We'll go that in a second. I saw pictures of that too. Just take a peek in here. Cool. So yeah, guys, I'm going to take a few pics real quick and then I'll be right back with you. Back on my sweaty face here. Took a few pictures. Yeah, this was cool. So this was kind of what I saw to be more hyped up online. This wasn't part of the park. So don't have your cab drop you off there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do when I get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna figure out the best spot to have you guys get dropped off at. And then I'll put like links to that and stuff. Because it was kind of a rough walk going up those stairs. Well, I walked down, but if you were walking up, that probably wouldn't be fun. But still probably better than what I did. But as you're coming up the stairs, and then like the Golden Buddha pops up, that's actually probably pretty cool to see. Spirituality comes with a little bit of hard work too. Because um, I don't want you guys to miss this. This is cool to see in person. I don't know if this camera really does it justice. I took some cool pictures of my phone. I'll put them on screen. So now in Hat Yai, you know, Thailand's majority Buddhist. But from my understanding and from what I've seen, it's a lot more Muslim people uh, in this part of Thailand. Um, but also online, I'm seeing a lot of like Chinese influence on the culture. I think that's where you're showing here, like the uh, that style of architecture, you know, the, the chubby Buddha, kind of that style of uh, architecture as well. So it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'll do a little research tonight when I edit this video. I'll put some info on the screen for you. But now, otherwise, let's go through the dragon's mouth here. <laughs> if anyone knows what that says, tell me in the comments. Here we go. Weird steps, be careful on these. Does it look cool? I made it through the mouth of the dragon. Dracarys. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Here, oh, here we are, cool. So we did actually make it to this temple some roundabout way. That's just how it goes, right? I'm gonna switch the camera here, guys. Wow, guys, this is awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely uh, like a Chinese influence here. So we did make it to the statue. See the big Buddha up there. Whew, a lot of steps today. Cool. And I did double check with one of the people down there. I didn't have to take my shoes off for this or put on my uh, stretchy pants. I'm mostly thankful for the shoe thing. 
because it's hot enough that whew, it'd be hot to walk on this. So I think there might be something a little more interesting down that way. And that might be a good spot to close the video. So see you in a sec, guys. All right, cool. Cool Chinese style gate here. Very nice. Sweet. And I think we're at the tail end of what's interesting for this stretch. All right, everyone. So we got some good views. Got a little sunburn maybe. That's okay. We had a good time. So what I would recommend, if you have a scooter or a moped, you can do all this yourself. Just boop, 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 hit every station, moped's fine. That might be your best way. If you don't have a moped or don't know how to drive one or whatever, uh, do the walk like I did. I'm just kidding. Um, take a grab cab or something up to the tippy top by our golden Buddha friend up at the top there and uh, then walk your way down and you'll see all the things that we just saw. Then hopefully at this point we should be able to pick up a cab soon enough. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably update on the screen if uh, if I can get one close or if I had to walk a bit further down. We'll see. So hopefully it's entertaining enough for you guys to see me try and fail and <laughs> learn the hard way so you guys don't have to, you know? Like I said, TripAdvisor, at least some of the things that I saw kind of made it seem a little more, I don't know, different. Everything outside of the park was worth seeing. The park itself was meh. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to head down. I'm very tired. Don't worry. I have more water. The road itself is pretty shady. I feel like I'd probably get a cab soon. Like I said, I'll let you know. If you're new here, welcome for hanging out. Um, we do have some cool hot yai videos coming up planned. Hopefully less misadventures. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. Got some more adventures ahead. We got about five days left in Thailand. And some cool videos coming out before I go. So I'll be seeing you guys. Peace.